Oxford from the inside. The good, the bad, but always the truth. Hey guys, welcome to Oxford from the inside. The good, the bad, but always the truth. Today we're here with JP. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, my name is JP. I am a fourth year biochemist at St Hilda's College. Nice. Um, and today we're going to um, do a quick five question for you guys. And um, today's question is, um, JP, what is your favourite thing about your college? Yeah, so St so Hilda's is a strange college because I don't think many people know about it. I certainly didn't when I applied. I ended up being called there. So that's a system where if you put down a college on an application and they are overflowing with candidates, but another college wants you, they can then take you. Um, so I interviewed at St Hilda's and I found it a bit strange, but my interview experience is always something that you remember weirdly. But having started at St Hilda's now and have been there for the past four years, it's a great social college. That's one thing I really like about St Hilda's is that because it's taken applicants from so many different places and because it pulls some applicants, we get a wide mix of people. And that's really good for meeting people from all over the UK, but also internationally. Some of my best friends are um, in like the years below. So my college great grandkid, I think. He's never been to the UK before coming to the university. And actually, it's just great to meet people from all around the world, learn about kind of the fact that they didn't have rain, for instance, which they don't like, and the cold winters. Um, but the, the great thing about um, Hilda's as well, and, and on, on the social theme, is that in the dining hall, we have round tables, which other colleges don't have. I think we're the only college that has round tables. And it really does promote conversation. Um, we've got a great culture of that in the dining hall. And then also, we have a, a, a student run bar. Now, most colleges have student run bars, um, but actually R1 allows students to work behind the bar. You can even um, put yourself forward for shifts. So you can work, I think it's eight till 10, you get paid something like low, but you make sure that the bar is maintained student run because some colleges that have um, staff, the prices are a bit higher, it's not as friendly. And unlike other colleges, our JCR is our bar. So it really does promote that kind of, there's one place for socializing. So everyone goes there in the evenings. It's normally quite busy. This is all, of course, all pre-pandemic. Um, and that was one thing I really liked about my college. Nice. Yeah, it does sound really social, um, especially with the round tables. Um, I know in Trinity, I mean, yeah, I think I think I can see your point about how um, what the tables are like in hall, how important that is, because I think throughout all colleges um, and in, in at uni, hall experience is um, very important and like it's really like a, a chance for all of us to um, have our social outlet, get to know people. Um, well, have you ever been to another college where it's like straight tables and then what have you found to be differences? And yeah, what has it been like in St Hilda's? Yeah, so I've been to formals at other colleges, which have been great because you have to wear a, a, a kind of suit formal wear and stuff. And then they do have long tables. So I think Christchurch is the one which people all often picture as the Harry Potter one, but it's just got these really long tables. Uh, and it's a different vibe. Um, I, I don't think it's better or worse than St Hilda's, but I think it's definitely one that, the Hilda's one, because it's not so um, old, it's fairly modern as a college. And because the dining hall has just got these big round tables, it just promotes a different atmosphere than being at, for example, the one in Christchurch, where actually you're looking up and you're just seeing these massive portraits. It's, it's just a different atmosphere. Um, and I think also part of the reason why I like Hilda's is because I'm there. I think people learn to like the college that they're at anyway, and you'll get to get to used to it and, and the space. Um, but that's just the benefit of my college that I'm sharing. Wise words that um, yeah, everyone everyone ends up liking the college that they go to. Um, I wanted to ask, so in, in Trinity, um, the college I go to, um, the JCR is separate to the bar. Um, and um, so, yeah, like we have a separate bar and we have our JCR where it's like a... Uh, a living room, I guess, with like games, table tennis table, just like a, a social space. Um, what have you found to be the perks? And are there any downsides to having the JCR JCR room as also your bar? And what have the perks? Oh, I wouldn't think there are any downsides, but I guess I wouldn't know because I don't really know whether to have the room separate. The plus side for me is that having been to some colleges where the bar is separate, you can't bring drinks over to the kind of pool table. So we've got a snooker table or a pool table. We've got a foosball table, a table football, and we've got ping pong. And just doing that when you have a drink on the side, even if it's like juice or something, just really kind of 
makes it more social. You don't have to walk between two venues or in some colleges even walk across open spaces to have those. And because we have the social space there, everyone goes there every night. Whereas I think if you have two separate places, people might be confused. Oh, I've got some friends there, some friends there. Where do I go? Where do I socialize? Which again is not a bad thing, but I think when you've just got the one place, uh, I guess maybe because we're a smaller college and don't have as much space, everyone flocks there and you're guaranteed to, to find someone to talk to that night or to see a friend there or to even just chat with the person behind the bar because it's just a social space and we know it as such. Yeah, no, that sounds really cool because um, in Trinity, um, yeah, bar being separate is very, very true that um, people do separate and um, split. Um, and I think, I think um, the bar is quite important with each college because some bars maybe not many people go um, or it's not I know not that busy um, just because you know it just might not be where students go to they might go into the town um, you know considering the towers just outside but it's nice to hear um, that sounds like St Hilda's bar is pretty buzzing like it's pretty busy every evening is that right? I guess I think as you've said that some people might go into the city but because Hilda's is about a 15 minute walk away I guess that might be part of the reason why it becomes so popular they don't really want to trek into town if we've got a place so close to us um (laughs) yeah no it's fair that is true I mean to be having said that um out of the colleges that aren't central St Hilda's isn't the furthest away and I I would say just for anyone listening like St Hilda's is in if you're going to be away from the centre, it's in a very nice place away from the centre. And it sort of feels quite central anyways, because like it's sort of at the tail end of the city centre compared to like colleges like LMH and St. Hughes, which are probably maybe same time distance, maybe not St. Hughes, St. Hughes probably a bit further, but they are very much in their own pocket of, and it really does feel like you're out of Oxford. I don't know if, you, if that resonates. Yes, and just to add that even with um, our college being kind of out of town, we have Cowley Road next to us and we have lots of shops there. So actually very close to shops and amenities as well, whereas um, LMH and St Hughes don't really have that many things close to them and have to come into town to go shopping. And um, the idea of pubs, there's like quite a few pubs just immediately outside St Hilda's, especially that one, don't know the name, but there is there is The one. Cape of Good Hope? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but um, that's all that we've got time for today Um, thank you JP for joining us Um, and thank you for the viewers um, for whether you're listening on podcasts or YouTube any platform Um, and yeah stay safe and we'll see you guys next time